Welcome back to my channel. Today we will learn about Newton's second law of motion. This law states that the rate of change of momentum of any body is directly proportional to the force applied on it. This law can also be expressed in the form of formula that force is equal to change in momentum upon time taken or simply force is equal to final momentum minus initial momentum upon the time taken. Let us understand what is momentum. Momentum is a product of mass and velocity of any body. Let's take an example to understand momentum. Suppose you roll a ball of 1 kg with a velocity of 5 meter per second. So momentum of the ball will be 1 into 5 that is 5 kg meter per second. Hence we can say that Newton's second law of motion explains the relationship between force and change in momentum per unit time. This law can also be expressed in form of another formula F is equal to Kma where K stands for proportionality constant, M stands for mass of the object while A stands for acceleration of the object. As the expression shows, force is equal to mass into acceleration. This means force depends directly on the mass of the object. Let us check this with help of an activity. For this activity, we need a ramp, two balls, one lighter and one heavier and a water bottle. We will keep this water bottle at a distance of 15 cm from the ramp. Let's now roll the lighter ball and see its impact on the water bottle. The ball exerts some force on the water bottle. Let us now roll the heavier ball and see what kind of force does it exert on the water bottle. Oh great! Here you can see that the heavier ball exerted more force. Some other examples can be when a truck causes more damage than a car when it hits an object or if a heavier object falls on your feet it will cause more pain. Let us now see the effect of acceleration of a body on the force exerted. Here again we will use a ramp, a ball of mass m and a water bottle. We will keep the water bottle at 15 cm from the ramp. You can see the ball of mass m hits the bottle and the bottle moves a little bit. To change the acceleration of the same ball, we will increase the inclination of the ramp so that the acceleration of the ball increases. Let us now drop the ball again. As the ball moves, you can see the ball hits the bottle but this time the bottle falls down. This shows that in the second case more force was exerted. Hence we can say that if the acceleration of a body is more, it will exert more force on the object. Let's now conclude this law with the final activity that if more force is applied on a body, the body will move with a greater acceleration. For this activity, we need a rubber band, a folded paper and a ball. We will see the impact of this catapult on the ball. The rubber band here acts as a catapult. When we stretch the rubber band and release the paper, you can see this paper exerts force on the ball and the ball moves from its position. Let us now stretch the rubber band a little bit more which shows that we are exerting more force on the ball this time. Can you see any difference in the acceleration of the ball? Yes, you must have observed that more is the force exerted on a body, higher will be its acceleration. When we exerted more force with help of the rubber band, the ball moved with a greater acceleration. So we have learned that Newton's second law of motion explains the relationship between force, mass and acceleration of the object. Let's recap. If two bodies are moving with same acceleration, heavier body will exert more force. If two bodies of same mass but different acceleration are there, the body with greater acceleration will exert more force. And the final one, 
If the greater force is exerted on a body, the body will move with a greater acceleration. I hope now you have understood the Newton's second law of motion. If you like the video, do like, share and subscribe.